Hello crew, welcome back to the Gaming Ocean TCG channel. Hope everyone's doing well. And in this video, we're unboxing the latest One Piece set, OP08 Two Legends. This set officially releases September 13th. In a few days, I was lucky enough to go by pre release and able to pick up a box. So I can't wait to dive into this set, see what we pull, see what alt cards, secret arts, if we pull the manga card, which the chase card this time is Silver's Rally as the manga card. Dark Knight himself, first mate to Goldie Roger, King of the Pirates. I've yet to pull a mega card. Maybe this time I get lucky. I always say that, but who knows? So I can't wait to get started. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe, share with others, and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss any TCG content or openings. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Open up this booster box. One Piece, OP08, two legends. And see what we pull from this booster box. What kind of alt cards we get or secrets? Or maybe even a manga card. Who knows? We'll find out. It doesn't look like it comes with box toppers. Usually it would say at the bottom. But of course, 24 packs per box. 12 cards per booster pack. And here are the booster packs themselves. Check it out. Very quick. Cool. We got Whitebeard and Silver's Rallies. And this is pretty interesting. Got a lot of, uh, of course, returning character types. I'm going to do four at a time. So I think Whitebeard crew now is like a blue card. You got Silver's Rally right is red. Big Mom Pirates, I think they're purple with yellow or purple with black. The uh, Animal Kingdom Pirates are now black cards. Tony Tony Chopper is actually a leader card with the like Drum Island thing with Dr. Kureha. So it's pretty interesting set actually. And yellow is I think uh, some, some are uh, Big Mom Pirates and Sky Island characters. So... Pretty neat change of colors and dynamics. Can't wait to check them out in the leaders. So we're going to do four packs at a time. All right. See how lucky we get. Let's go with pack number one. I'll take y'all advice and just go through the cards and not read them all. See, maybe make the video less long. So let's go. But if I find something I'm interested in, I'm going to read it. And I already had the urges to read this. But we got Speed Joe, Whitebeard Pirate Blue. So we got Whitebeards as blue cards now, right? It's an on-play card. Charlotte Cracker. So you got Big Mom Pirates that are purple. S Bear. Oh, more Egghead type character cards. We're getting the um uh, the Seraphims. So we got S Bear. From BB. Oh yeah, we get Minx as green card. That's right. This gorilla is actually pretty cool. We got a Tuxedo. X Drake. All right. Black card. Candy Maiden. Calgara. Sky Island. Vanilla. Baron Tamango. Big Mom Pirates. That's a blocker. Charlotte Custard. Hmm. I think we're going to run into a lot of new Charlotte characters from Big Mom Pirates. All right. Charlotte Katakuri. Oh, look. When he was tiny, eating him donuts. That's cool again. Big Mom Pirates is purple. Our first foil rare card is Zhao. It's a stage card. Oh, cool. It's where the minks stay on top. So you may rest this stage. Your reader has the minx type set up to one dawn card as active. And end of your turn, set up to one of your minx type characters as active. Mm, Minx might be pretty interesting to play. And our rare is Wanda. Look at the art style to this. Crazy. And this is Wanda wearing Nami's clothes. Yep. On play, look at five cards on the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Minx type card other than Wanda and add it to your hand. Then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. So that is what we pulled in pack number one. I did read him because I get so used to just reading the cards, but I'll do my best to kind of go through them a lot quicker, right? Let's go on to pack number two. We got Drum Kingdom, another stage card. All your drum character type character cards gain a thousand power on your opponent's turn. That's very good. We got, oh, how you pronounce this? Afalandra. Okay. Amazon Lily. Tristan, another mink card. You can't take our king this early in the game. That sounds powerful. We got Marco. Maria Onion Bear. Hmm. That is from what? Drum Kingdom as well. Peacoms. That's a minx and a big mom pirate. Green. So it's probably going to be better than the minx. So we got an event card, Heliceratops. This is that one guy who becomes a Triceratops, one of my favorite Zoan fruits. He's in a Kaido's crew. I think they're called the All-Stars. There's like a gang of them. So that's that. Garchu. What this? Oh, there's Minx. Okay. Jimbei. Look at this art. Kind of silly crazy looking. But he's a black card, eh? Oh, Fishman and Straw Hat crew. You can put this now in the uh, starter deck 14 because it's now a straw hat crew, not just a fishman. When it has a dawn, when attacking, you have a character with a cost of eight or more. Kill to one of your opponent's characters with four or less. 
this fits in Star Deck 14. Star Deck 14 is actually really good. I literally played it out of the box, nothing added to it, and won two out of four matches. Fantastic. And the other two matches were like very close, like one life card left. I could have won. I like this starter deck. King Drew, page one is our rare card here. It's on play. Play up to one ulti with a cost four or less from your trash. And our first SR is Jack. Ooh. Check that out. Jack. This character gains plus four cost. Wow. At the main, you may rest this character, draw one card, and trash one card from your hand. Then kill up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less. Look at that. Pretty good. So, we ran into our first SR. We're going to go ahead and sleeve up our SR real quick. Noink. I'm pulling a lot of uh, Animal Kingdom Pirates. All right, let's keep going. Charlotte's Angel. Shashilian. Mushuru. Hopefully I pronounced that right. He's from the uh, Drum Island film, actually. Gorincia. Okay. That art style is pretty cool. People's dreams don't ever end. When Luffy ran into Blackbeard the first time. We would never sell a comrade to an enemy. Rowdy. It's a mink. Charlotte Smoothie. Robson. Inurashi. That's really cool. S Hawk. All right. This is cool. We have Don attached to him. If you have less life cards than your opponent, this character cannot be KO'd in battle by slash attribute cards and gains 2,000 power. Trigger, you may trash one card from your hand. If you have two or less life cards, play this card. And behind this is King himself. Ooh. I would thought he was an SR, but he's just a rare. Interesting. King looks super cool. He has a very cool character design. So if you return a Dawn card to your deck, if your opponent has five or more Dawn cards on their field, this character gains rush during this turn. Cool. It says this card can attack on the turn in which it is played. Oh, it just explains what rush does. All right. Well, that's pack number two. Sorry, number three. Can't count. Next pack. We got Hamlet. Charlotte Paris Sparrow. 20 Doctors. Moby Dick. Stage card. Nice. Ulti, Namu, Kuromarimo, Albert, interesting. This must be King's real name. I don't remember. It's to die for. Lapins, remember them. We got Ace. On play, read one card from the top of your deck and play up to one character card with a type, including wipe your pirates, and it costs a four or less. Then place the rest at the top or bottom of your deck. Our rare. And that's Luffy behind them. Cool. And Charlotte Pudding, everyone's favorite. Your turn was per turn when Dawn card on your field is returned to your Dawn deck. Add it to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. That's a nice trade-off. So I will go ahead and read the least of foil cards. Because they're shiny. I like to read them because I like to know what the cards do. Since I do I don't really play the card game as much. But when I do, I like to know what everything does. And that way I know what they do and how to play the cards. And if I want to add them too any of my current decks. So I pulled up another four packs and four packs here. So that way I don't have to dig into the box. So let's go on to the next four packs. All right, next four packs. We have yet to run to an alt card or a secret. So we still have them. Next pack, we got chess. S Bear, Charlotte Angel, Jump Kingdom, Ulti, Kuramarimo, Count Niwatori, Charlotte Oven, Charlotte Custard, Scratch Mana Poo. We got Wiper. On play, look at five cards on top of your deck, reveal up to one upper yard, and add it to your hand. Then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order and play up to one upper yard from your hand. He has a 2000 counter. So, a new Sky Island character. And our next SR, Jewelry Bonnie from Egghead. Check that out. She has an alt card in the set too, if I'm not mistaken. So when a Dawn card is attached to her, your turn once per turn. When a card is removed from your opponent's life cards, draw two cards and trash one card from your hand. Trigger, draw two cards and trash one card from your hand. That's neat. All right, so we got our next SR. Sleeve that up. Here we go. Oop. All right, next pack. We got Mushuro, Alphalandra, Charlotte Poyori. Look at that smile. Crazy. It's like a shark. Tristan, 
Sweet pea, I never shoot you. Hmm. Giovanni, this zebra looks super cool. Cool mink. Chess Marimo, Thatch. Charlotte Pudding Leader. Here's a new leader card in this set. She has four life. She's purple yellow. And then when attack, you may turn two cards from the top of your life cards face up. Add it to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. Quite interesting. All right. Dalton, a new rare card, foil. On play, give it to one of your opponent's characters minus 1,000 power during this turn. And when there's a Dawn attached, activate main once per turn. You may add one card from the top of your life cards to your hand. This character gains rush during their turn. That's nice. Rush is very good. And Cloven Rose. So main up to three of your characters gain 1,000 power during this turn. Then give it to one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 during this turn. And Trigger. Give it to one of your opponent's leader or character cards minus 3,000 power during this turn. So a new event card. Chopper's move. And we're just going to display the new leader. Charlotte Pudding. That way I know at least I pulled a leader card. There we go. Next pack, got Biscuit Warrior, Speed Jill, Viscount Hiyoki. Ah, that's who that is. BB, Pecoms, Baron Tamago, Maria Onion Bear, Burn Blade. Consulat, the meats look pretty cool. Southbird, Mont Blanc Nolan. Oh, yeah. On play, if your leader has the Shadian Warrior type and you have a Calgara character, add it to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. All right, and Jozo. Wipe your pirate's character. On play, may return one of your characters other than this character to the owner's hand. Return up to one character with a cost of six or less to the owner's hand. That's pretty good. We'll display Jozo here. Next pack, we got Moby Dick, Guranica, Miyagi, I Never Shoot You, Nitro, Giovanni, You Can't Take Our King This Early, Charlotte Oprah, Sheep's Head, Munch Munch Mutation. Oh, Katakuri Rare. On play, may turn one card from your top of your life cards face down. Add it to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. And, oh, we pull the secret. So the secret is Kaido and Linden. Yo, this artwork is sick. This looks really cool. Look at Kaido. Check that out. When attacking, minus 10 Dawn. So return 10 Dawn cards to the deck. Kill all characters other than this character. Then add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards and trash up to one card from the top of your opponent's life cards. Oh wow, that's pretty strong. 12k power. Check it out. All right, this is our secret. So that means we may run into either two alts. Should be two alts, I think. I think one piece has not changed the ratios. So hopefully run into two alt cards. Maybe a manga card. You never know. I don't know how the manga actually works. I don't know if the manga like replaces the secret or what. Y'all let me know. All right. Next four packs. There we go. Cut those up. Next pack. Here we go. We got Viscount Hiyoki, Tristan, Charlotte Cracker. We would never sell a Conrad, a Mool, Nitro, X Drake, Atmos, Katakuri, Munch Munch, Dr. Kureha. On play, look at four cards at the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Tony Tony Chopper or Jump Keenan type card other than Dr. Kureha. Add it to your hand, then place the rest of the body deck in any order. So our searcher. And SR Linlin. <laughs> Big Mom herself. Purple version. Check it out. Cost of 9, 9k power. On play, return a Dawn card. You may trash one card from your hand. Add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your live cards. Then, add up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less to the top or bottom of your opponent's live cards face up. That's pretty good. All right. So, we've got a, another SR. Very nice. Oop. Put her there. All right. Next pack. Keep it going. Got S Bear, Moby Dick, Speed Jill, Chess, Calgara, Heliceratops, Charlotte Smoothie, Phoenix Brand, Chess Marimo, Carrot as the Minx Green Leader card, has five life, and she has a main once per turn effect. If you have a Minx type character, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. That's pretty good. Yes, 5k power. Got Wanda, and who's who? As our other rare card. 
On play, may trash one card from your hand, give up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less. 2k counter. Trigger KO to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less. Okay. So black seems to be doing the same. Popping things with a uh, minus cost or low cost, right? And all of the purple cards just do the same, returning Dawn cards to the deck. But the purple seems to add cards to your life. Something what yellow does. So it's kind of interesting. And into the next pack here. There we go. We got Shishillion, Mont Blanc, Cricket, Hamlet, Charlotte Smoothie, who would never sell a comrade, Basil Hawkins. That all looks pretty cool. Phoenix Brand, Nikomamushi, Kalgara, another new leader card, Sky Island. He has five life, and when a Don is attached, when attacking, play up to one Shandane Warrior type character card from your hand with a cost equal to or less than the number of Don cards on your field. If you do, add one card from the top of your life cards to your hand. It's really cool. Wapple. When a Dawn card's attached, when attacking, give one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 power during this turn. Then this character gains 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. That's pretty good. 6k power, so he becomes 8k. And the Earth will not lose. It's a counter. If your leader has the Shindian Warrior type, up to one of your leader character cards gains 3,000 power during this battle. Then play up to one upper yard from your hand. Trigger, draw two cards, and trash one from your hand. And the special Dawn card in the set, White Beard. Looks cool. My beloved son. Had better be all right. This one he went to go uh, save Ace. Spoilers. All right, we'll go ahead and display the Calgara. All right, we pull three leader cards. All right, and the Minx green cards seem to do what they do. Stand and restand. All right, next pack got Gin Rumry, Charlotte Perospero, Charlotte Cracker, Bucking. People's Dreams Don't Ever End, Calgara, Sweet Pea, Charlotte Brule, Apu, Chopper. Here's a Chopper Leader card. Main, once per turn, give up to three of your Animal or Drum Kingdom type characters, up to one Resident card each. That's pretty good. Chopper has four life. And he's red green. Imperial Flame, main slash counter. You may place three cards from your trash at the bottom of your deck in any order. KO to one of your opponent's characters the cost of two or less. Trigger, activate this card's main effect. And Sasaki. He's a Triceratops. Activate your main. Rest one of your Dawn cards and you may rest this character. Give it to one of your opponent's characters minus two cost during this turn. Okay. And it has 2,000 counter. So we'll display Chopper. The other leader card in the set. Let's go ahead and get the next four packs. One. Two, I always get worried I'm going to cut the cards because they get so close to the top sometimes. So I'm going to do them one by one because they seem too close. All right. Next pack. And we haven't ran into our alt cards yet. They must be at the bottom. All right. Jen Rummy, Charlotte Pori, Chishillion, Peril Sparrow, Candy Maiden, Hawkins, Kuramarimo, Albert, Inorashi, Southbird, Electrical, Luna. Main, all your opponent's rested characters with a cost of 7 or less will not become active in your opponent's next refresh phase. Trigger, rest up to one of your opponent's characters. The green, what well, green does best? Rest the opponent's characters and you can restand and whatnot. And our next SR is Carrot herself. On play when attacking, up to one of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of 7 or less will not become active in your opponent's next refresh phase. So they stun. That's cool artwork, actually. Check it out. This is very cool. I think One Piece and Digimon have very cool artworks. So does Pokemon's uh, rare illustration cards. There we go. Next pack. Keep it going. Hamlet, BB, Charlotte Angel, Alphalandra, Giovanni, Onion Bear, Our King this early in the game, Charlotte Oprah, Duval, remember that guy? Hey, Marco's a leader. Okay, cool. When a Don's attached to him, main once per turn, draw one card and place one card from your hand at the top or bottom of your deck. Then, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 power during this turn. So debuffs, Marco has four life. 
Red, blue. Okay. So it does work with the white beer pirates, the red ones and the blue ones. Cool. Cloven Rose, another Jozo. We'll display Marco up here. Next pack. Man, no all cards yet, huh? Miyagi, Mashuro, Bucken, Drum Kingdom, Rody, X Drake, Burn Bazooka, Pickoms, Thatch, S Shark, Queen as our rare. On play, look at five cards on the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Animal Kingdom Pirates type card other than Queen. Add it to your hand, then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. So Searcher and Wapple. We're going to go showcase Queen. We'll put Queen down here. Okay, next pack. BB, 20 Doctors, Biscuit Warrior, Candy Maiden, The Mule, Elaceratops, Lapins, Iron Body, Fang Flash. King as a leader card. I think we pulled all the leaders in this set, I think. King has 4 life, 5k power. Activate main once per turn. Return 2 down cards, and then choose one. If you have 5 or less cards in your hand, draw a card. Or, give up to one of your opponent's characters, minus 2 costs during this turn. Ah, so the leader can do that. That's cool. Who's who? Conquest of the Sea. Minus 2 Dawn, so return 2 Dawn to the deck. If your leader has the Animal Kingdom Pirates or Big Mom Pirates type, kill up to 2 of your opponent's characters with a cost of 6 or less. That's pretty strong. So you got Kaido and Big Mom there. And we pulled another Dawn card. That's cool. Okay. Well, we'll go and display King as the leader. Alright, we got 8 packs left. So we're going to go through it. Boom. All right. So even with kind of going through it, it still took a little bit, but that's okay. I get to read what some of the cars do and understand them. Since I do actually really enjoy playing One Piece, it's actually a really fun card game. Makes you think. All right, next four packs. Here is this next pack here. Still waiting to see the all cards. We got Shishilian, Afalandra, Esbear, Picoms, Giovanni, Sweet Pea, People's Dreams, Fernblade, Edward Weevil, Katakuri, Page One, and Wanda. So we got another Wanda. We'll display Page One this time. Next pack Guranika. Bucken, Biscuit Warrior, This Count, I Never Shoot, Charlotte Smoothie, feels like I skipped the card, but I didn't. You Can't Take Our King, Milky, New Mink, we haven't seen that one. Hacking Bear, haven't seen that one yet. Chopper again, King, and Ace. We'll display Ace this time. Next pack. There we go, we got 20 Doctors. Mont Blanc Cricket. Guernica, People's Dreams, I'd Never Shoot, Rody, Ulti, Ekumamushi, Jembe, Edward Weevil, Wiper, our first all card, Jewelry Buying. And I was talking about this earlier. She has an all card. Check it out. This is really cool. That is pretty. Yeah. So we ran into our first Alt SR. Check it out. Jewelry Buying. Let's leave this up. Yeah, finally. So we have one more. I wonder what it'll be. This is really colorful and pretty. I like it. All right, let's keep going. We got one more to chase in here. All right. Mashuro, Charlotte Cracker, Miyagi, Onion Bear, Nitro, Hiloceratops, Basil Hawkins, Consolat, Robson, Garchu, Dalton, and Kaido. All right. Here is another SR that we pulled. Kaido, we haven't pulled him yet. I like the artwork. It looks very cool. It looks very Dragon Ball Z. His eyes and everything. Activate main once per turn. You may trash one card from your hand. If this character was played on this turn, trash up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of seven or less. Then your opponent trashes one card from their hand. Pretty good. All right. I think I'm starting to like um, the black color in, in um, One Piece. Seems really fun. I'm liking the Animal Kingdom Pirates in this uh in this set very much so all right so we're on to our last four packs so 
we're going to see and run into, hopefully, our last all card. Here we go. Next pack. Miyagi, Viscount, Mountain Blanc Cricket, Moby Dick, Ulti, Candy Maiden, Onion Bear, We Would Never Sell, Jimbe, Hiking Bear, Imperial Flame, Pedro, is a new one. Real quick, just check him out. It's a blocker, and then on KO, you can choose one. Wow, on KO. Spoiler. Anyways, rest up to one of your opponent's Dawn cards. That's one. Or KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters at the cost of six or less. It's pretty good. The Minx seems to be a pretty cool uh, playstyle in this set. I want to give them a tryout, too. I'll probably try all the leaders, honestly. They seem all fun. One Piece is a very fun card game. We got Jump Kingdom, Hamlet, Speed Joe, Count Noatori, Baron Tamago, Sweet Pea, Burn Bazooka is to die for, King Du, Charlotte Oven, Page One, hey, Nami SR, check it out. Yeah, because Nami wasn't in the previous set as a cat type character card. That's cool. On play, you may trash one card with a trigger from your hand. Keep up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Then if you have three or less cards in your hand, draw a card. Cool. And trigger is activate this card's on play effect. That's pretty cool. The art style is quite interesting, actually. So we got our next SR, which is Nami. Oh, wow. We're down to the last two packs, and one of them holds the final alt card. Place the Nami here. It was kind of scooched things down. All right, let's see what we pull. What alt card will it be, or what will it be? All right, next pack, Jin Rummy, Chess, Peril Sparrow, Angel, Tamago, Fix Drake, Noah Tori, Sheep's Head, Burrell, Pudding Again, Electrical Luna, and Jozo. Okay, we'll display Electrical Luna. All right, so this is the final pack. And uh, it's got to hold the last alt card. It has to. We'll find out. All right, we got Tristan, 20 Doctors, Bucking, Charlotte Poyori, I don't know how to pronounce that, Burn Bazooka, Rody, Kuromarimo, Consulat, Phoenix Brand, S Shark, Dr. H, Chopper's Father, has a counter 2000, activate main may rest this character. If your leader is 2020 Chopper, all of your 2020 Chopper characters gain 2000 power during this turn. That's cool, buff. Behind that is Black Maria. Oh no, we didn't run into another alt card, huh? Unless I missed it, it was out of my sight, or they just changed the ratios. So we only pulled one secret and one alt card, eh? Boo. Well, we pulled another SR, Black Maria. Check her out. Activate main once per turn if you have no other Black Maria characters. Add up to five Dawn cards from your Dawn deck and rest them. Then at the end of this turn, return Dawn cards from your field to your Dawn deck until you have the same number of Dawn cards on your field as your opponent. It's quite interesting. And she has 2,000 counter. This is a very interesting card, actually. It's strange that she's actually a purple card versus not a black card. Hmm. Since all the other Animal Kingdom Pirates cards in this set are black. But it still works with King because he's purple-black, so it still works out. I'm going to try this deck out. Animal Kingdom Pirates seem a lot of fun. But, that's all 24 packs. Box is empty. These are our pulls from OP08. And we did pull our one and only alt card. Oh, okay. I guess they changed the ratios. Usually get two alts, one secret or three alts. And our secret. This is actually really cool artwork. This is very cool. Kind of looks super cool. And then this artwork is sick. This is beautiful. Got like pink gust of winds and then blue skies in the back. It's really pretty. Well, there's that. So those are our special pulls from the booster box. And of course, I feel like I pulled all the leaders. We got Marco, Pudding, Calgara, Chopper, Carrot, and King. That's five. Sounds about right. But that's going to wrap it up. Can't wait to try out these new cards and these new leaders, actually. I'm actually looking forward to trying out King and Carrot. Those are the two leaders that stuck out to me. And maybe Charlotte Pudding. What is your favorite leader in this set? What leader do you think in this set is going to make it to the top? Let me know in the comments down below. 
And let me know what alt card did you pull first and what are you chasing besides the manga card? Let me know down in the comments down below. But that's going to wrap it up. That is the showcasing and unboxing of One Piece OP08 Two Legends. And I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, support the channel, join the crew for more TCG content and openings. And until next time, smooth sailing.